A man with a history of honorary membership to the KKK not only managed to make it on the unofficial ballot to be the Republican nominee for Missouri governor, but he even managed to be on the first highest position on that ballot and might still be there when GOP voters vote in the primary this August. The state party is scrambling to deal with a little bit of a PR disaster. But in the meantime, we gotta tell you about this guy. And the situation was brought to light by a former representative of Missouri who was shocked that this guy managed to be on the ballot saying, I just learned the candidate listed first on our primary ballot for governor is a cross burning KKK member who ran for US Senate two years ago and freely admits his KKK membership and white supremacist beliefs. But hold on a second, because this individual, Daryl McClanahan III, thinks that a couple of the things mentioned in that tweet are inaccurate. I'm not sure that you're gonna care about the technicalities though after you see the evidence presented which includes this, McClanahan can be seen in this photo giving the Nazi salute next to a guy in Klan robes with a literal burning cross behind him. But wait, 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 he wants to clarify some stuff about that. And so we're gonna do that. First of all, I wanna show just so that you know that we're accurate when we say he's literally at the top of this unofficial ballot. So take a look at this, his name appears first. And you know, if you have to be in a list of a ton of candidates, you kind of want to be first. So he was asked if the image of the burning cross, if that was really him. And he replied, it's an invisible empire, yes, it's me. Now, granted, I'm not like a big KKK guy or anything, but I did a little bit of Googling and the invisible empire thing is a KKK thing. So he's already hurting his position a little bit, but he does say, He's not a member of the KKK, it was an honorary membership given to him that he apparently has done nothing to reject. But he does say that he's a pro-white man, horseman, technically sir, that's centaur, get it right. Politician, political prisoner activist who's dedicated to traditional Christian values. It's just an honorary one year membership. I guess it's, you know, a trial thing. You know, make sure that for that year you can keep your clo- your robe clean or something. You always bring gasoline to the weekly events. I don't know. And he also says that, yes, I was there, but it's not a cross burning. It's a private religious Christian identity cross lighting ceremony. And if you'll buy that, I'm sure Trump has got a whole lot of stuff that he'd like to sell you. Sharon, what do you think about this? <laughs> we might have millions of people watching this show, but you can be the difference maker because we just need 1% of our audience to be paid members, and then this show can be around forever. So you can make that difference. Click join now. Was there wood? Was it shaped like this? And was it on fire? Did they use an accelerant? I mean, And what does it mean to be an honorary member of the KKK? After his one year is up, will he have to pay next (laughs) year? Will he have to go through a more rigorous process? The bar is so low, it's so low. He's already on the ballot and we're just now kind of learning some things about his history and qualifications. We get it and you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets elected to something. You know, I, I I agree with the honorary membership thing. Like that is super weird. Like, all right, we're gonna give you the 365 day free trial, and then after <laughs> that, it's like 9.99 a month for the KKK plus. Uh, but you know, it it I think the Republican Party, well, they know why racists feel so comfortable running under their banner. But I think the Democratic Party probably needs to do a better job of showing this to the public. You know, I, I've I've talked about this story. We're talking about this story here. I've seen it on websites, you know, all throughout the day today. But are the Democrats going to put this in campaign messaging? Or are they going to show the world, like, hey, by the way, this is who they are, and they're freaking out about it because they don't want people to know it. But these are the people that call the Republican Party home. Do you want to share your home with these people? That's the message. That's the yeah. ad. Put it out there right now is what they should do. Yeah, hundred percent. I, the honorary thing really gets me. Like he thinks that if it's an honorary membership, it's not as bad. But I don't think that's actually how it works. I think that makes it seem worse. Like when you think about honorary things, like honorary degrees, that's like special attention being paid to you. That's not worse. That's like you're lofty. You're the keynote Nazi at this event. That seems really bad and. 
<laughs> the Missouri GOP says, you know, uh, we, we don't want anything to do with this guy. He's coming back and saying they knew who I was. So I don't know who's in the right here. But it's almost like a retro throwback to have an actual like robe wearing KKK guy because so much has changed. Like they say he doesn't represent our values. But I, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, at a time when every single right wing media person has to give a version of the great replacement conspiracy theory on their show every night, when it used to be you'd only get that on Nazi websites. When Donald Trump in virtually every interview now is talking about immigrants poisoning the blood of the nation, like, I don't know if it's not that dissimilar from your values. The Nazi and KKK stuff has been pretty normalized at this point. So I don't think you could be so mad at us Missouri GOP for being concerned about this guy.